Hey everybody! About an hour ago, I sent out my uh, usual weekly breakdown and analysis of the EIA Weekly Petroleum Status Report. As you know, that comes out every Wednesday at 10.30 Eastern Time. And uh, I go through that entire report and I put out a breakdown and analysis for my subscribers. If you want to get a copy of that report, go to a copy of my analysis of that report. Go to my website, pitbulleconomics.com and sign up for a 30-day free trial of MMT Trader. As I told everybody, we were going to see a significant build in crude oil inventories. That's exactly what happened. We saw a 6.8 million barrel increase in crude oil inventories in the latest week. Uh, that was the first increase in crude inventories in the EIA report in 12 weeks. Okay, but I, I told you. Last week that we were going to see an API build, we saw that. I told you this week we're going to see both an API and an EIA builds in both of those reports. We did, okay? The reason why I can come out with these forecasts, these correct forecasts every week, is because I know how to read the information in the EIA report. If you know how to read that information, then you can come up with a pretty concise forecast of what the change in inventories is going to be and I did all right so uh, our people my subscribers were positioned correctly going over it again we were long oil from 46 all the way up to 65 last week I said the report looked a little soft to me I told everybody to take profits in oil we took profits on our VLO Valero that was up uh, that was a 66 percent gain some some of my subscribers went short at uh, 65 and above. Markets down to low 64. We even traded in the 63 handle, so we caught that swing. Now, let me tell you, there are things in that report today that might look a little bit bullish. I say might because there are some mitigating factors. But I, I put that, all of that, and my analysis is in the uh, email that I sent out earlier today. Again, if you want that email, go to pitbulleconomics.com and sign up for a 30-day free trial of MMT Trader. There are some things in that report. There are elements of that report that look pretty bullish. But do you rush in and buy right now? I, I talk about that in the email, all right? Um... Let me talk about something else. We took profits today. Speaking of taking profits, all right? We took profits today in Seagate Technologies, the stock symbol STX, which I recommended buying back in October at $33 a, a share, 33 and change. At that time, the stock was trading uh, down, um, you know, aggressively. People were saying, that's it for Seagate. It's business is an old-fashioned business. It's in uh, hard drives and storage and everything's moving the flash. And, you know, that, that's, uh, it's obsolete. It's never going to recover. I told everybody, every one of my uh, subscribers at the time to get in. We got in at 33 and change. We are now taking profits at 56. That is a 70% gain in what? Three months. 70% gain in that stock. Along the way, we did find out that um, Seagate also had an early investment in Ripple. Ripple is the cryptocurrency. Okay, I did not know that at the time. I bought it based on my, uh, my valuation formula and, uh, of course, our... our um, overlay of the macro the mmt strengthening economy etc uh but it does it did have an early investment and it does have an early investment in ripple uh i do not know how to value cryptocurrencies okay i stick with what i know how to do uh i i do believe that uh bitcoin and ripple and all these cryptocurrencies are a reflection of the global growing global desire i should say to de-dollarize and i you know i've been talking about that and i um on that note let me just mention uh and i'll get into this whole de-dollarization again but uh if you want to see a chart last night trump made a state of the union address and you know he loves to talk about the stock market 
uh, which has been up uh, sharply since his election. However, what has gone in the other direction is the U.S. dollar. It is now at a three-year low. If you want to see what that looks like visually, I put a chart of the dollar index, uh, the trade-weighted dollar index, right from the Fed's data on my blog. To go to my blog, go to Mike Norman Economics dot blogspot.com if you just google mike norman economics you'll get there and i put a chart in of that dollar index you could take a look at it uh, and i noted on that chart where uh, the point in time when trump was elected and what the dollar has done since then so a significant decline and in my opinion it is just the very very beginning and by the way i forecast this decline when Trump was uh, uh, elected, because I said at the time, his plans to uh, engage in a significant fiscal expansion, which I thought was a very good idea, uh, spending and tax cuts, <clears throat> and the ongoing rate hikes by the Fed. Now, again, I've been telling all of you that rate hikes are not bullish for the currency. I've been saying this since 2015, when the Fed first started to raise rates, I said, you got to short the dollar, and the dollar's been going down. I've been right. Everybody else has been wrong. Since that time, since the election, my two reasons for being short the dollar has been uh, increased by a, one more reason, and that is the Trump administration's, I think, very unfortunate use of sanctions as a weapon. I, I call it uh, the weaponization of the dollar. Sanctions a, as a geopolitical weapon, as a weapon of foreign policy, even as a weapon of military policy. Um, it is like economic warfare. Where weapons, uh, sanctions rolled out on Russia, multiple uh, sanctions rolled out on Russia, on North Korea, on Venezuela. I have said in the past that, you know, the world is catching on to this. We, they, people understand, large corporations understand, nations understand that they cannot live with the risk that the United States, as part of its foreign policy, enacts economic warfare via these sanctions uh, designed to shut countries out of the global dollar-based transaction and clearing system okay alternatives uh are going to be sought and that's happening and that's one of the reasons i have uh postulated for the uh the advent and, and the rise of cryptocurrencies bitcoin and ripple and all these other things but you also see it in emerging new bilateral uh, trade arrangements that skirt around the dollar. You look at uh, Russia, China doing business in, in their own currencies. You look at the Chinese launch of uh, oil futures uh, denominated in gold-backed yuan. You look at trade agreements now, oil um, trade agreements between Venezuela, China, Venezuela, Russia, this sort of thing, all right? This is the beginning, this is, and I'm gonna make a statement here that, it, that I think is pretty profound. Uh, this is the beginning of the end of the dollar-based global transaction and clearing system that basically has been in place since Bretton Woods, okay? The dollar is not recovering from this. The dollar is not recovering from this. Um, this is un an unraveling. Every single rally should be sold and that's what i have been doing this is not a position that i'm trading for a couple of months and getting out no every rally in the dollar i am selling i i'm now long to say it another way i'm long euro not now but i've been long and i've been adding to my position long euro long british pound long australian dollar long canadian dollar all right long new zealand dollar so the dollar is going down trump can uh you know he can he can he can brag all he wants about the stock market rally, but uh, at the same time, the dollar is now hitting a new three-year low, and it's going to continue to go down. And uh, this will be bullish for gold. It's going to be uh, inflationary as it imports inflation. It's going to be uh, you're going to see continued rate increases by the Federal Reserve. I've been saying all this. Okay, I got all this stuff right. 
So, uh, but if you want detail on all this and recommendations and how to play it and how to make money, because there's going to be a lot of money to be made from these. This is a major, major, you know, secular um, change in what the sort of the financial order has been for a long, long time. I mean, this is this is something you're going to re you can retire off of this, but you have to know what to do. You have to know what to do. So go to my website, pitbulleconomics.com. Sign up for a 30-day free trial of MMT Trader. See everybody later. Bye-bye.